Hi, I'm Chris, N9CBR. In this video, we're going to take a look at a very small package. So, this thing showed up in today's mail, and I'm super excited about it. Notice it showed up in today's mail, so this is not one of my things. Um, little package, I'm not going to show you the other side because it's got my address. And inside comes this. This is a Meshtastic compatible LoRa device. Uh, this is long range radio. It operates 863 to 928 megahertz, so it's a, I believe it's an unlicensed band. Uh, I asked for one of these little holders as well, because I'd like to carry it around. Um, just looking at it, I'm not quite sure how you get the radio in there. Oh wait, here it is. There's a, a top to it. There you go. Okay. So you stick the radio in there, see it's got a little room for antenna. And then here's the stuff. So I'm really curious to see what all comes in here. Let's pop it open. Okay, here's the board. I will have to flash a firmware to it, so I'll, uh, set, I'll show a little video of how I do that. Um, okay, I get some headers. This looks like some sort of power connector and an antenna. Do I have, well, I don't think I have the, um, I don't think I have the adapter to measure characteristics of this antenna. That would be very, very interesting to see. Uh, thing I'm a little disappointed that is not in here is I was kind of expecting a battery of some sort. In fact, so this obviously fits in here, just like that. Um, maybe you peel the sticker, there you go, peel the sticker off of the screen first and then you put it in, there you go. Uh, antenna obviously fits like this, but yeah, I don't see a good way to, oh, I see, okay, back there. Maybe I can strap a little battery to it is the idea, or I can probably just run it off a of USB-C. So, um, next thing to see is how you run this guy. Feel like the um, the coax here is a little longer than I would have anticipated needing. This I believe is called an MCX connector. There's a tiny, tiny little connector on there, and it just pushes on. There you go. Pushes on. Oh, just came back off. Fair enough. I'm just trying to figure out right now. Oops, let's do this. Where do I... Maybe if I do like this... <laughs> These are supposed to be tiny. Come on. There we go. You heard that click? That was nice. I wonder if I give it a loop. Ooh, that works slick. Okay. If I give it a little loop, and tuck the coax in, there we go. Then here's my little enclosure. 
seems to not want to stay in there very well. Push the antenna down a little further, maybe. Can't tell if this here is a, what do they call it, a sprue from the plastic molding process, or if that is a little connector that broke off. I don't think it's a connector that broke off. I got this thing on AliExpress, by the way. Uh, you can also get them from Helltech.org for uh, cheaper but more expensive after you end up paying for shipping. So this is the little device. Um, let me flash to it and uh, we'll go from there. We'll see what happens. All right, so here we are. A um, couple things to note. This is Chromium browser. Uh, Google Chrome would also work, but any Chromium based browser uh, works. So uh, I have not done this before. I am, oh, here we go. This may help. Okay, purchase supported hardware. I did that. Flash and configure. Uh, okay. It would be amazing if they told me how. Let's try to get started. Uh, Flash firmware. It is an ESP32 device. Web based installer. Okay, so I need to plug in my device. So I just did that. It comes up with Helltech Automation and says connecting. Okay. Um, be flasher.meshtastic.org. Okay. Waiting LoRa data. The frequency is 868. Okay. Lovely. Uh, this is a Helltech. V3. Select firmware version. I would assume I would like the most, yeah, this one, the most recent. Dot 24. Seems believable. And now let's go flash. Okay, it splits it into variants. Most are version 1.1. I don't know what mine is, so let me peel it open. I thought it was a V3. It's a 3.1. Oh, the well, Helltech tracker target. Okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. So that doesn't matter because I'm using a V3. Okay, that all good. Continue. If your device is ESP32 S3 based, I think that's mine. I will have to hold the boot USR button. Okay. Uh, let me open it back up. So I think what I'm going to do is just plug it in, hit update, and hope. <laughs> Okay, let's close this back up. I plug it in. Haltech Automation. Connecting. Wi-Fi setup done. S connecting failed. Ah, scan start. Scan done. Three networks. Okay. Waiting LoRa data. Okay. Uh, let's just hit update see what happens. Yeah... I'll bet you anything I am TTY USB zero. So let's try that again. Oops, let's flash update. I bet you it's this because I don't have any other USB to UART bridge controllers connected. Do I? Let me think about this. No, I don't think I do. Connect. 
let's see what it does. Ha ha! Okay, I figured it out. Because I am running Linux, I needed to run this command, which basically allows literally anybody to do anything to this port TTY USB 0, which is what this uh, Helltech is connected to. If you're not running Linux, you're not going to have to do that, but that's, uh, that's what I needed to do. So now I've got a blank screen on the Helltech and you see it is writing stuff. We're 39% complete. So we will sit here and wait. By the way, that's not something I uh, found listed anywhere that you need to uh, change your permissions if you're doing this on Linux. Um, I just kind of something that dawned on me like, hey, wait a second. Are we running into a permissions issue? I change mod 777 and sure enough, it starts working. So uh, hence my starting the video when it already uh, was partway through the, the flash. ninety seven percent complete okay it's doing things a white light came on unset meshtastic.org comes up on the uh, screen visit meshtastic.org for more information and then it tells you to do stuff with the um, uh, with the app so pretty cool all right, so I got my phone, which will power this thing, I think. Plug her in. Meshtastic app is running, like first time run kind of thing. Uh, this is not powering up. Why is it not powering up? Okay, just took a bit. So, Meshtastic is an open source, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get started. Connect your, yeah, by Bluetooth, I think I want to do. Let's turn on Bluetooth. Um, see all. Let's see if there's anything new coming up here. Uh, let's go next. Setting up encryption, okay. We can figure that stuff out in a second. Um, well, it seems to want to connect by Bluetooth, or by USB, so okay, sure, let's just do that. Always open mesh TASIC? Uh, meh, I don't know that I want that. <clears throat> Provide phone location to mesh, sure, what the heck. Okay. So now I get to mess around and see what's going on. Um, let's, oh, region. Yeah, I gotta set region. Uh, U.S., way at the bottom. There you go, region U.S. So it reboots. Makes sense. It doesn't want to transmit on the wrong frequency. So once you get it set up, now it says U.S. in there. And it looks like we're good to go. Okay, so um, I'm just kind of curious whether there's anybody else out there by me. Yeah. Well, it's working for what that is worth. Um, I have a hunch there's nobody else around 
other than me. So either that or I'm horizontally polarized. That might have something to do with it. Let me hold it straight up and see if I get anybody. Uh, like we learned in the last video, um, there seem to be two screens here. GPS not present. Okay. 3.98 volts, 79%. Hey, there is no battery, buddy. That's all right. Uh, channel utilization, 1%. Well, I don't know. I'm just going to send out this message. Test. Test. Send. See if anybody or anything responds. I have no idea what to expect here. I am guessing that this uh, this is close. I'm just gonna guess that here more people are supposed to show up if there is more Laura activity around here. So, but anyway, um, I'm probably gonna wrap this video up here. Uh, I'll post any updates as they they happen. Uh, remember, I am in the northeast Wisconsin area, so maybe I should be seeing zillions of people. Maybe I'm literally the first person in the Fox Valley to own a mesh-tastic device. I have no clue, and unfortunately, I'm not aware of a good way to find that out. Um, so anyway, here we are. Um, Cool, I've got it connected for what it's worth. Uh, like I said, I'll post updates as I find anything else out. But I thought I'd bring you along and um, let you kind of see what the, what the process is. If you're doing it on a Windows computer, it is going to be so much easier for you because you don't have to deal with that uh, permissions issue. Other than that, here we are. So, if you like this hit the like button uh, put a comment down below if you got any questions um, not that I am an expert in mesh tastic by any means we have definitely uh, cleared that up um, if you like this kind of stuff and want to see more subscribe and hit the notification bell and we'll see you on the next video 73